Hello everyone. Today we are going to see what is the aeration process in the fermentation and what is the role of this aeration process in the fermentation and how this aeration is provided during the process of fermentation. So let's go. We are going to see here. So first is the aeration process. So aeration process, it is a supply of oxygen to the broth during the process of fermentation because the microorganisms are generated or they are grown in the broth and mostly the process of fermentation these are the aerobic fermentation so for this process organisms demands the oxygen and we satisfy their demand with the help of aeration process the oxygen demand of industrial fermentation process is normally satisfied by aeration and agitation by the aeration and agitation we are supplying the air with the help of aerator and that is distributed throughout the broth with the help of agitation the majority of fermentation process are aerobic and therefore they require the provision of oxygen to develop the product through fermentation so oxygen is normally supplied to microbial culture in the form of air which is the cheapest available source of the gas the method for provision of culture with the supply of air varies with the process the process are like lab scales pilot scale and industrial scale so according to the suitability the process are used or methods are used for the aeration like if you are uh, using a lab scale so for that we use shake flask method when the flask are shaken on the platform continuously to provide air to the microorganisms which are placed inside the broth while in case of pilot and industrial scale the air is provided to culture by a specific type of uh, equipment which is known as sparger the sparger of the equipment which are used to provide air during the process of fermentation the spargers these are the sporous it is uh, manufactured of uh, centered glass ceramics or metals generally the centered glass and uh, metals spargers are used widely because the glass spargers are uh, quite difficult to handle than the metal sparger many time the bubble size produced from such sparger is a larger than the pore size of aerator and the major problem is to blocking of the pores so this is porous sparger are majorly used in the lab scales and they are uh, preferably not used in large fermentation the next second type of the sparger is orifice sparger these are the small uh, stirred fermenters are preferred in this uh, small stirred fermenter the orifice spargers are used these are the pipes where 
the arrangement of holes are made and through that the air is pumped into the fermentation broth. Approximately uh, 3 quarter of the time of ampler diameter they are having their size so they efficiently provide the air during the process of fermentation. In the most designs the air hole were drilled on the under the surface tubes making of the ring or cross. These are the pipes like this and these are having the pores at the bottom side like this making holes and cross so they continuously sprays the air during the process of fermentation and these are attached to the inlet so these are the porous parger so they supplies the air during the process of fermentation the last uh, this is a design of porous parger where the air is supplied and through this pores the air is entered into the fermentation broth so next is a last type of this parger is nozzle sparger so nozzle sparger is a single orifice uh, particularly it is a closed pipe which is uh, sprays air with the pressure inside the broth and which provides the formation of bubbles and uh, these are the widely used in the process of fermentation because the nozzles parger they don't create any kind of a blockage the nozzle parger are the these are the types these are the consider this is the pipe and this is inlet through the nozzle parger where the air is came inside and this is having the nozzle so with the pressure it sprays the air into the fermentation broth and supplies air with the pressure so this is a nozzle sparger so here in this lecture we have so what is the aeration process and what are the types of sparger there are three types of sparger the equipment which is used for the aeration is a sparger there are three types of sparger that is first is porous sparger second is orifice sparger and third is nozzle sparger so this is the process of aeration in the fermentation Okay, thank you.